the kingdom of God to which we belong is a kingdom of peace. Romans 14, 17. For the kingdom of God is not in meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. Those are the forces at play in that kingdom. When you are born again, we have been transmit, translated from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of his own dear son, where what reigns is righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. God caught a covenant of peace with mankind through the shed blood of Jesus. Colossians 1.20 so when you are washed by the blood and having made peace through his blood, the blood of his cross, by him to reconcile all things unto himself by him. I say whether they be things in earth or things in heaven. God caught a covenant of peace with mankind through the shed blood of Jesus. This order of peace is that kind that puts a man at rest in the midst of the storm. In the midst of the storm. Christ was asleep at the hinder part of the boat when a great storm arose. And Jesus, the Prince of Peace, came on the scene. Peace be still, and there was a great calm. At peace under impossible circumstances. That's the kind of peace you are going home with it. Is defined as great peace, great peace. Isaiah 26, verse 3. Great peace of day that will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusted in thee. Perfect peace. Perfect peace. It's the order of peace that passes all knowledge that is inexplainable but undeniable. Order of peace. Philippians 4 7. And the peace of God which passes all understanding shall keep your hearts and mind through Christ Jesus. Available in one, from one source, the source is Christ. Interestingly, peace is one of the vital proofs or evidences of redemption. Galatians 5.22 The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace. Remember, I call it the fruit, fruit one, one, with nine components in it. Love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such, there is no law. That is the spiritual DNA of a born again child of God. That is new culture. If anyone be in Christ, a new creature, all things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. That is new culture. When you are born again, those nine fruit or proofs of your new generation spirit begin to manifest in your life. Love, joy, peace. Love, joy, peace. It's the new lifestyle of a believer. Love, joy, peace. And six others. It oozes forth out of you without any struggle if you are truly born again. Today, people go to church, they don't know the meaning of being born again. They have never experienced a new life. To be born again means to be manifesting the nine fruit of the Spirit naturally is in you. Faith is in you. He gives to everyone a measure of faith. It's in you at new birth. Meekness is in you. Not pride, not pomposity, not arrogance. Patience is in you. You are not in a hurry to enter into horror. Please understand that the nine itemized fruit of the spirit is a definition of our new lifestyle as believers. So when these things are going low and low, there's its connection gradually, this connection gradually, going, 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 gone. 
you find the love of God going down, the joy of the Lord going down, the peace of God going down, you are going, going, going. And before it's gone, you better return. So it's no guesswork. The fruit means the proofs. The proofs of a new regenerated spirit. The proofs of a born again child of God. Praise God. In this new kingdom, Jesus is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. And his name is called the Prince of Peace. Isaiah 9, 6. The Prince of Peace. So in that kingdom, you are under the rule and the reign of the Prince of Peace. What are the wonders embedded in peace? We have heard this several Peace is a medium through which God takes over our battles because until we hold our peace, God cannot fight for us. Exodus 14, 14. The Lord shall fight for you and you shall hold your peace. Until we hold our peace, He cannot fight for us. Anxieties, apprehensions, puts God off. They are all manifestations of unbelief and doubt. They that believed have entered into rest. So when there is no rest, there is unbelief. And nothing can get God to work outside of faith. Who had believed that report, let him expect to see the arm of God stretch forth. So God can't take over our battle until we hold our peace. That's the core wonder of this covenant of peace. When peace is in place, God takes over our battles. Did God fight for them or not? He did. God took over. He went in front of them. The sea saw them. It fled. That's how God fights. They didn't push the water. They didn't pray. They had their peace and God took over. In the same way, all barriers before you will clear off like a dream of the night. Yeah. Somebody believe that? Let me hear your loudest amen. Yeah. Number two wonder in peace is God's manifest presence. Be still and you will know that I'm God. I be exalted in the earth. I be exalted among the heathens. Psalm 46 and verse 10. Be still and watch me manifest myself. Be still, I'll show up. Be still, the Gentiles will know I am your God. Be still and I will manifest myself to you. Though I pass through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil, for thou art with me. 